all of these puppies safe and sound tonight, rescued from what the sheriff calls a puppy chop shop. Among the puppies found in the cages was this guy, Bugsy. It's a French bulldog that was stolen at gunpoint in Orange County. Bugsy was stolen back in March while he and his owner were out for a walk. Fox 35, Stephanie Buffamonte joining us live from Bugsy's house. And Stephanie, it's so nice to see him back home with his family. <laughs> Yeah, just look at him. He's having so much fun. He's playing. He has so much energy. You just fall in love with this dog and his family is just feeling so thankful that he's back at home with them. Hi. Hi. I have someone for you. Hi. It's great to have him home. It was tough. Johnny Matos thanked investigators with the Orange County Sheriff's Office for their tireless efforts to get their four legged family member back home. You go on Facebook and you see different places where dogs have been gone for two years that have been taken, and you're wondering if that's going to be us. We'll never get to see him again, but he's home. Matos has been feeling guilty since March when someone took Bugsy at gunpoint. I told him I was sorry for letting him go that way. So I'm glad he's home. As deputies investigated Bugsy's disappearance, they found dog trafficking, pet store robberies, and what are described as puppy chop shops. Through tips, deputies arrested Ronnie Baker and Quantavius Williams. Investigators believe they stole at least 18 puppies in Manatee County and in the Tampa area. Then deputies were led to this home in Orange County, where they say Bobby Angel, also known as Dog Man, would operate on animals and remove microchips from stolen dogs. Deputies believe the criminals would then unload the puppies for cash or keep them for breeding. Nine dogs were found on his property. One was dead and another had an infection from the microchip removal. Unfortunately, none of the dogs were Bugsy, but a Facebook post later led deputies to the stolen pup. Be able to get such a, a positive outcome and uh, seeing Johnny's reaction, that's that's why it's so rewarding. And just playing back over, over and over again in your head, which could have done differently to not let him get taken. But it looks like everything was meant to be because we got a bunch of other dogs home. Now tonight at six, we'll take a deeper dive into the dog trafficking operation and how investigators were able to get Bugsby here. Reporting live, Stephanie Monty, Fox 35 News.